Welcome to the last section of the Rapid High Charts video course. In the last three videos, we're going to investigate the possibilities for loading chart data from different sources. In this video, we will cover data that comes from our own server in CSV format. First, we're going to have a look at our CSV files that contain historic stock data, and then we will parse that data and finally add it to our stock charts in the dashboard. Our stocks dashboard has two widgets, one displaying the stock values of Google and the other of Facebook. The charts are currently empty since we still have a little coding to do to make it work. Have a look at the file stockcharts.js. There are two charts defined in this file. Note that the charts are now defined within a callback function of jQuery's $.get function. The get function calls the URL passed in as a parameter and passes the contents of that URL into another callback function, in our case into the parameter CSV file. I have prepared two CSV files that contain the data that should be loaded into our charts. Let's see what that data looks like. Just open one of the files in a code editor. As you can see, it is just a simple CSV file containing a date column followed by five data columns. This is the data that is passed into our callback function as parameter named CSV file. Now we just need to parse this data and put it into our chart. I already prepared an empty helper function called parseCSVData that will help us parsing the data. The function takes the CSV data as an input and returns the data in a format that HighCharts understands. This data is then simply added to the chart as usual. Let's go into the function parse CSV data and have a look at how we can parse that data. First, we simply create an empty array that will store all our data. Next, we split the CSV data into several lines using JavaScript's split function. And now the interesting part. We loop through all the lines we skip the first line since it contains the column headers. We then cut the line into separate fields. We expect exactly six fields per line. If there are more or less lines, the line is ignored. If the line was valid, we read the timestamp from the first and the value that belongs to that timestamp from the fifth field. Finally, we push the timestamp and the value belonging to it into the data array in the format that HighCharts expects. If all went well, we have a full data array now. We need to reverse that data array though, since HighCharts always expects the data to be sorted chronologically from older to newer data points. Otherwise, we'll get an error from HighCharts. Let's save this and have a look at the dashboard. As expected, one chart now displays the stock history of Google and the other of Facebook. And that's the result. Let's review what we've done. We use jQuery to load CSV data from an external source and to parse that data. Then we used simple JavaScript to transform the data into a JavaScript array that HighCharts understands. This array we used as an input for our charts. So in this video, we learned how to load static data from an external source. In the next video, we will learn how to load real-time data and automatically update our charts with fresh data every couple seconds.